cold, hungry and tired. This is Manchester's homeless. Homeless figures have soared in the last year alone, with an increase of almost 10% across Greater Manchester. The worsted area is Stockport, with a 42% increase in just one year. So it would seem that homelessness is one of the few growing businesses during this unemployment recession. Joining the city's homeless tonight are volunteers and fundraisers taking part in the big sleep out organised by the Booth Centre. As the evening of the sleep out commences, night time begins to fall and so does the temperature. More than 200 volunteers have taken to the streets of Manchester in solidarity with the city's homeless. The event hopes to raise awareness of the hardships of the homeless in Manchester and give just that small insight into what life must be like on the streets. Manchester's homelessness services support some of the most vulnerable citizens across Manchester. The Booth Centre is just one of these services. Unfortunately, it's a big problem and it's a growing problem. The number of people on any one night sleeping on the streets may be relatively small, perhaps 20 or 30 people, but if you multiply that over the year, you're talking about a lot of people, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. The night saw volunteers in the city's homeless rubbing shoulders with one another as they shared memories of their time spent on the streets. They placed me in a hostel, um, which was great, until one night some guy attacked another one with a meat cleaver. And, you know, still to this day, I can smell the blood as we were cleaning off the walls. Just two months ago, Risha and Fee Lancaster lost their brother to the streets. He had a bit of a breakdown, which led in, into um, him getting a diagnosis of schizophrenia. He got sectioned and his girlfriend and his daughter left. He ended up on the streets, basically. And then he took an overdose and he died. The sleep out managed to raise a total of £38,000, 16000 more than last year. All funds raised will help the Booth Centre move to their new home at Edward Cold House, where they will continue to battle the hardships faced by the city's homeless. This is Sophie Dawson, reporting for Keys TV News, Manchester.